So the last exercise we're going to talk about is your creative manifesto. So it's really looking at the previous exercises that we did, looking at your values, your strengths and weaknesses, your why, and looking at why you love music really, and who you are as a musician. So this kind of brings it all into one place and it's a nice template for you to have and um, so you can put it on sticky notes around your house you can have it as a screensaver mm -hmm. but it can be your creative manifesto and it also helps when you're looking at your social media marketing putting it in your linkedin profile your biog all the places that you promote yourself and mm -hmm. um, so creative manifesto it's very simple it's i believe i love i am committed to um, so, Rachel, what do you believe is <laughs> part of your creative manifesto? Um, I think one of the main things that I believe is that all people can enjoy classical music mm -hmm. and it can be accessible to everyone, not just to, I think, generally people think of it as being an older generation mm -hmm. that enjoy classical music. Um, but I think it definitely can be enjoyed by everyone. So. And you love? I love playing the piano <laughs> yeah. um, and I think I love exploring pieces of music. I love the whole process of learning a piece mm. um, and I love performing and communicating with an audience and connecting with them. Nice. And lastly, I am committed to... I'm committed to promoting classical music, firstly, mm. um, and I'm definitely committed to performing and to also improving my level, my own standard in my playing. Um, and I also think I'm committed to promoting Irish music nice. and Irish composers because um, I think that's really important to yeah. acknowledge who we have, what amazing composers we have yeah. in this country. So that's definitely something that I'm committed to as well. Great. And you can see how nicely that would tie in with a funding application, mm -hmm. a covering letter, um, an interview like this, an interview for a job. Um, any time you're meeting prospective employers, it's like a mini elevator pitch. Yeah. Um, so to have that handy is a really good tool uh, for your personal branding toolkit. Thank you, Rachel, for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you.